Good morning. Good morning. Hey, it's Michelle on a wonderful Monday morning. <laughs> I just wanted to check in really quick. Um, as an update to the, the 5K, I did get a little baby blister on the left uh, Achilles area. I'm a big baby. I've got to get a little bit tougher before uh, the hike happens in 2019. Um, working on that. I also have some news uh, I signed up for. Um, some trail maintenance crews down here in Southern, Southern California. Um, the trail gorillas is what they call themselves down here. And this Saturday is um, uh, the first one I'll participate in. It's Unfortunately, it's like a two-hour drive to get to where I need to be. Uh, but that's okay. I, wanna, I need the workout. It's a good workout. We're doing physical stuff. And uh, the hike is easy to moderate. It's like two, maybe a little bit over two miles into the area. And then we're going to do trail tread maintenance and then back out. So uh, I'm looking forward to that. Will be my first time. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to try to videotape it. But I don't know how much I'm going to get a chance to. Uh, we'll see. I do want to share it a little bit with you. So maybe inspire you to go out and volunteer yourself if you live nearby. Um, but uh, that's this Saturday. Good morning. I made it. I don't know how. A um, little bit early and actually I don't see anybody else. There's a private residence over in that direction with people parking in front of it. And I don't think it's that because they said to park at the uh, fire station here, the Mormon Rocks fire station, which is, sorry, I just put my finger in the way right there. Anyways, I'll keep an eye out on them. Um, I wasn't sure I was going to make it because it was a two hour drive. I probably won't go to this one again because it's just too far. But, um, yeah. And, oh, my God. So it's today, the high in the desert where I live is supposed to be upper 80s. So I put on a t-shirt. You're supposed to wear long pants and uh, full shoes and, like, sun protection. So I have a hat and I have gloves. But I wore a t-shirt. And I stepped out at the McDonald's by the pass where, you know, the famous McDonald's. Um, just to use the restroom. <laughs> and uh, and uh, maybe order something to drink. And it was freezing. It is freezing outside. Luckily, I have a, a workout outfit in the back, so I put a smaller t-shirt on underneath this t-shirt. But uh, yeah, I hope when the sun comes up, it warms up because I'm going to die. But uh, hopefully this happens. I'm just waiting for people. We'll see. <laughs> oh, and I got a new piece of gear that I will probably show you at the end of the video today. And can't review it because I haven't used it, but I got a great deal. Probably work till two, three o'clock, depending on how everybody feels. If somebody has to leave early or something, you know, or, or starts to feel bad, then you know, go ahead and take off. It's, yeah. it's no now problem. we have Eve right here. Um, yeah. Anybody gets hurt that at all? That Bill and we know. One of the sheets you just seven. signed is to sign you up for workers' comp. Here's part of the PCT I just raked, worked on. I just missed about four southbound through hikers going past me. Yes, they're still out here, people. Isn't that crazy? So, part of the problem I have here is. I apologize, it's very windy today. Um, Mountain High. 
I'm not a Raiders fan. I just had to borrow some of these sweatshirts. It's so cool. Can I read that portion? Up in front was a break by another guy. And he let me down to where that guy's drinking. Getting the, the tread nice and smooth for the flankers. And we did run across four of them, like I said earlier. I like these extreme close ups. I'm so sorry. <laughs> horrible horrible mistake <laughs> this is like a this is supposed to be an easy we just heard a honk it's supposed to be an easy uh trail maintenance and i'm beat my back is completely tore up um i feel like a dead wheel here but uh, it's gorgeous it's totally worth coming out here and trying i'm gonna try one more trail maintenance i think and see if i can do better um like I said, I don't know if I'll keep doing this. Maybe I will as I get better and, you know, more into shape, but I'm just beat. And I took a, I went, um, the fellow women out there who are listening to this. You ever had to pee on nature? No. Went out in the bushes. And I swear to God, it's impossible not to do it without peeing on the back of your shoes. Sometimes the back of your pants, too. <laughs> um, I'm going to invest in some of those, uh, it's called You Go Girl or, or Pee Pee Cup? Pee Cup? I don't know. It's a device that basically you can pee standing up if you're a woman. Because this isn't happening. I'm tired of peeing on the back of my shoes on my brand new keys. I'm going to take a rest, actually, and uh, maybe join them for lunch. More almost at lunchtime now, but I'm just beat. And that sucks because we got to get back up the trail. It's pretty steep right here. And I didn't bring, I did not bring my trekking poles because we were carrying tools. So, yeah. I regret it, but I don't regret it because it's gorgeous out here. Anyways, uh, you guys should volunteer. It's always worth it to, just to see the work that goes into maintaining the trail. If you're going to hike it, you should give back to it in some way. This part of the trail was just rock strewn. Tons of talus, but I cleaned it up. Oh, and I apologize. I just realized I had it the wrong way. If you look really closely out there, I think I can see the uh, coastal mountains way, way, way out there. That dark shadow right there, I believe, is coastal mountains. And on the other side of that, the Pacific Ocean. I'm home, finally, everybody. Um, 
That was rough. I have total respect for the trail gorillas, even 10 times more than I did before. Um, I am going to go out again. I think uh, two weeks from now, there's another project at the Mesa Wind Farms or behind it. That's kind of behind Cabazon, or between Cabazon and Whitewater. It's more local to me. I can get there in 45 minutes. So I'm going to go do that again and hope I improve. <laughs> I did okay, but I was bringing up the rear end, that's for sure. Um, and if that goes well, maybe in a month from now, there's going to be another project out where I was uh, today. And I'd like to do it again, but if I'm... I felt like a fifth wheel. I really did. Um, I know I helped, but I, I don't know. I felt awkward. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be sore tomorrow. In fact, we're going to heat up our spool in the backyard and I'm going to soak myself tonight. <laughs> but I promised some more gear. Um, I actually got another piece of gear today. So this is why you should always look for deals online. I've been looking at um, uh, this particular thing. I've been wanting an ice axe. Um, a black diamond raven, I believe, is what I want with a grip. And they're like $100 on an REI. And so I'm always looking at other sites. I'm looking at the garage in REI. I'm looking in Mastrop. I'm looking in uh, eBay, looking in Amazon, just anywhere I could find a deal on either used or new gear. And I found this great deal on our black diamond raven ice axe. Um, with a hand, I didn't expect this, I'm, I'm glad. It was um, advertised as new on eBay for not $99, which is what they retail for, but $35 plus shipping. So I paid like 40, 47, 48 bucks for this, brand new. So check something else off my list. That's, I was so happy to get this and win this. Um, awesome. Now I gotta figure out how to ship it to myself. Yeah, the guy who shipped it to me from Texas, um, it was it was weirdly packed, but it made it, so that's all that's important. I also, on Mass Draw, I've got in on um, three Darn Tough. It was like three pairs of Darn Tough for like a pretty decent price. I forgot what it was. It wasn't as good as a deal as this, but um, hey, it's worth it. I'm going to try these out, um, see how they work with my, uh, my Keens that I got, and uh, yeah, let's see if I don't hopefully my feet will do okay in the desert i'll find out it's still it's still pretty warm here it was like so cold up in that mountain and here it's like 90 degrees <laughs> um i i cannot remember the guy's name but i was in this t-shirt and i put a t-shirt underneath i didn't bring a jacket duh but um he actually lent me his sweatshirt or a, his extra sweatshirt um i can't remember the guy's name he's in the trail gorillas he's helped a lot along with him around the whole Southern California area. So, kudos. Um, I'm bad with names, but the more I work with you, I'll, I'll learn your name. <laughs> Maybe I'll see him two weeks from now. We'll see. But I, I highly encourage everybody who's close to the PCT to go volunteer and um, go help maintain part of the trail. Start with an easy one. This was supposed to be easy. It kicked my butt. But make sure it's an easy one if you haven't done trail work before. Um, and they, they don't... It's not like a chain gang. They, they ask you to rest... And my back was starting to really hurt. They said, cool it, you know, relax a little bit. Don't do as much as you have been. So I did. <laughs> um, but, oh my gosh, the scenery. As you, as you saw, it's just amazing. Uh, but definitely go out, get back to the trail. Even if you haven't hiked it yet, it, it, it makes it worth it. It, it. it makes you more excited to hike it. And say, hey, see this trail? I worked on that trail. Okay. You guys have a great rest of the weekend, and I will see you next time.